So you wanted to make an ancestor altar. Let's do it. Number one, we must get an understanding as to what an ancestor is. Ancestor is a family member and or family friend that has crossed over. So they could be 250,000 years old, girl, or they could be 50, 60 years old when they pass, or 30 or 20. Once you cross over into the ancestor realm, you are an ancestor. The purpose of an ancestor altar is not to pray to or worship our ancestors. It is to create a safe spiritual space to commune with our people. Ancestor work is personal. So watching a video about how to put together an ancestor altar it's just an example. That's not exactly what you should do because my people ain't your people. But there are some basic foundational rules, if you will, um, that can help with this process. Let's begin. So you must select a space that you want to have your altar in. I love spaces by windows, all right? I love open, airy spaces, but you want to make sure that it's not a space where people could walk by and knock it down. So right now I'm in my kitchen, but you pick a better place. You're going to cleanse that space. I have here a spiritual water, cleansing water that I made with Florida water and some other ingredients. So you want to spray that in the space. All right. While you're doing that, you're setting the intention. This is going to be the place for me and my ancestors to commune. Then you're going to get you a white cloth. White is such a purifying purity color. Um, cleanliness, wholeness, connection. And I have a lot of family who are Eastern Star, honey, and Holy Ghost filled people, so white. Pictures. If you don't have a picture, then you can use a nameplate. We wanna get a plant, life, living, growing energy. A nice, beautiful glass of water, as water is flow and connection. Get you some herbs that your ancestors would love. Lavender, eucalyptus, tobacco, mint. Incense are fine as well. Get you a candle. All right, could be spiritual, regular smegler, good scent, whatever you want. Get you a plate for the offerings. Cards for some ancestral messages. And a journal for your request. And there you have it.